didn't even make it to TSW2. Straight out of Compton! <laughs> no! Crompton! The first iteration of the Siemens Taurus in game. Hennigsdorf's own electric container. The last gasp of Swindon and the wider Great Western. Just whistle while you work. Again, didn't make it past TSW2. The only thing I don't like are the brakes. A stalwart of American commuter rail. Adds a nice bit of spice to Peninsula Corridor. Why does this not layer onto the Maintal Barn? A New York commuter stalwart, but limited in use. A nice change of livery from BR Blue. Go on to be reused in all Bundesbahn colours. Big fucking blue hippo. Can't think of anything else. A better choice would be Exeter Plymouth in the 70s. Adds a lot to German roots. I really like it. Does not do the real 1938 stock justice. The light clusters are wrong, among other things. Shame, really. A charming pep EMU, we'll miss them. A nice modern diesel shunter, shame about the route choice. Doesn't fix the fundamental problems with the Arosa Linie. The S-Barn units are the only useful ones here. A mixed bag, but the 66 stands out. From MSTS to TS Classic to TSW, comes full circle. This could have been done just with livery designer. Only merit is the preservation era jubilees, nothing else. The class 37 is decent, the rest, meh. When someone from the Czech Republic does what DTG doesn't. Same applies to the Union Pacific Heritage Collection. A shame DTG stopped steam locomotive production after this. The Vectron's in game at last! Woo! Why was this not included on the base release? Missed opportunity to bring in the Class 60. Oh hi, Honslet! I see little point in this Class 66 race game. A much welcome addition to Hamburg Lübeck and the Maintalbahn. The German Haggis, as named by DC4260 Productions. Wait until the leaving extension is out. Thirty fucking pounds for a locomotive DLC! 